guys, Sam from New Line here. Wanted to take a quick second to record a video for you on a frequently asked question, um, and that is how to use the split screen feature. So you do have the ability to split screen different apps on your Q Pro series. Super easy to do. Um, so I'm going to show you guys how to do that right now. The first thing you want to do is open your task switcher app. So remember, you do have two options for that. You can either use this second to last icon here on your side toolbar that looks like two squares or down here along the bottom in the Android toolbar, this square icon. So once I have that open, I'm going to switch to the apps that I want. Let me find some good ones here. I don't have any open, so I'm going to go ahead and open up Drive. And then I'm going to open up um, Whiteboard. And for fun here, I'm actually going to go ahead and open up a slide as well, just so you guys can kind of see what this would look like. I'm going to go into my favorite linear function slideshow. And um, so I do have this here. And then I'm going to go back to my task switcher. So I'm going to go ahead and press that square. And you can see I've got all of my apps here that I just opened. So to get to that split screen function, I'm going to take one finger and on the icon up here at the top, so in this case slides, I'm going to press and hold. And when I hold, I'm going to get this option that comes down and I have two choices here, app info or split screen. So this one says split left. So I'm going to have my slides be on the left here. And then to choose my other option, I'm just going to swipe to find the app I want and just tap on the icon. So you'll see here, they kind of have this gray bar at the bottom and that's just based on sizing of the app. But say that you needed to make um, your slides bigger or you're on a web page in Google Chrome or something like that, you can actually touch this white bar here in the center and drag it to the side. That will allow me to make this a little bit bigger. Um, and then I have this here as well. If I wanted to move over to the side, I can put the back in the center. And I do still have all of my tools here. So if I wanted to go to the next page and I wanted to write on my whiteboard while I am, you know, presenting my Google slide here, I do have the option to do that. So I can actually put this in presentation mode, even in the split view. So if you did want to have maybe some notes going on one side and your slides on the other, you do have the option to do that. Now, when I'm done with this and I want to get back to just my regular home screen, I can either press my circle button here in the center or on my side toolbar, the second icon here is going to be a little house. Now, the cool thing about that is they do kind of make, uh, if you have ever done this on your computer, it kind of makes a new app that shows those two things that you put together. So say I go to my home screen and go somewhere and I want to get back to those two apps that I had open. I'm just going to go to my square again, and you can see my first option is the split screen between slides and whiteboard. So I could just go ahead and choose that to open it back up. So tons of fun ways that you can utilize that. Um, and remember, if you did want to resize either one, you can drag this white bar across the center.